Hello and welcome to Joyful Business TV. I am Laura West. I'm the CEO of the Center for Joyful Business. I'm also a creative mindset and business success coach, author, speaker, and of course, your host for today's show. So for over 20 years, I have been helping conscious, sensitive, creative, and highly ambitious entrepreneurs who want to be more successful, but they want to do it in a way that feels really in integrity and that it is really about <clears throat> running their business in a way, not with soul crushing strategies and lots of hustle, but in a way that is soul nourishing to themselves and to their clients and their community. So it's really about being authentic, real, generous, caring, treating other people, marketing to other people the way that you want to be done to yourself and really aligning your energy from the inside out so that you can get your soul work out in the world and really show up as a leader with your message. So I also want you to know before we get started today that I deeply believe in you. And I do believe that you are innately designed to flourish and that we just need to release the possibilities and get out of the way anything that is getting in the way of that flourishing. All right, so if you are here live, this is how it works. We're gonna talk 30 minutes. I've got an interview today. I'm really super excited about bringing this guest with you and having a really rich conversation with her. So I'll be, um, we'll be talking for about 30 minutes and then I will open it up to you. We'll turn off the recording and I will open it up so that you can ask questions and we can have a conversation about whatever is on your mind for your business and growing your own joyful business. All right, so let me tell you about my guest today. I am super excited to bring to you Stacy Mayo. And uh, Stacy Mayo is, um, her business is called solutionsbystacy.com. That's S-T-A-C-E-Y. And here's one of the reasons why I'm super excited about bringing Stacy is she was my very, very first coach way back in the 90s, <laughs> which is hard to believe. And um, I hired her as a career coach. Gosh, I think it was like 19, uh, 1918, I was going to say, 1998. <laughs> We're not 1918. <laughs> <laughs> and um, fell in love with coaching, loved that. She helped me create all sorts of great changes in my career. And then I came back to her and said, you know what? I realized I want to do what you do. So she was really the impetus for me becoming a coach. And, um, and then I hired her to help me start my first coaching business um, back in 2001. So I have a double, like I can't wait to bring you Stacy and her energy and her message, as well as um, she's just a dear longtime friend. And so I'm excited to be able to bring her to you. So let me tell you just a little bit about Stacy, and then we're just gonna jump into the conversation. Um, Stacy, while she might have started out more in the career coaching area, she, as we all do, you know, she, her business has evolved tremendously, and it's been fun and fascinating to watch where her business has evolved. Stacy creates um, progressive and unique energetic solutions for business and health challenges, and um, I have had lots of. Um, it's been fascinating to really hear the updates about what she's up to, but as I said, she founded her business back in 1995, and she is a self-made multimillionaire. She is good at this stuff. She is successful at running a business and having it flourish, as we're talking about. She's also the creator of the Peaceful Entrepreneur Program, the Affluence Mastermind Program, and get this, she has some really cool other programs. Um, the Energized Clothing Healing Program, we're gonna to have to ask her about that. <laughs> My the, favorite. Yes, and the cancer healing program and so many more. She, I know she has done medical intuitive. She's just got so much that she is doing now that is so helpful to people um, in being able to heal so much in their lives that are getting in the way of them being able to truly flourish and be more affluent and even financially successful. So there you go, Stacy. that's your intro. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm excited to be here. We, we do have a wonderful history and connection. And just to be able to share um, with people what's possible yeah. is really my intention. And I like so much, you and I have both grown and watched each other's grown over the years. And I'm sure your listeners have as well. And it's like, 
what else is possible for you is where I'd love to go today and share what we've done and that you can do in ways that really work for you. I love that. I love that. So I'm curious, um, I'm, you know, I want to start, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning, but I am curious, like what brought you to more of the energy healing, the alignment, this, what do you call it? Tell us what you call it, what it is. I call it energy healing is what I call it. And what brought me to it is I really started doing energy healing very, very, very early in my coaching career. Um, I learned about it and I was drawn to it. And I was noticing with my coaching clients that there were some areas they weren't making very quick progress in, no matter how rational things were and logical that it makes sense to do this as your next step. But in some cases, they weren't making those kinds of steps that you would think you would make because it was rational and logical, and which always means there's something else in the way. Right. And coaching helps, but I learned very early that energy helps faster. In combination with coaching, the effect is what I call multiplicative. Mm -hmm. And so um, it helped. And I always, I always bring to my clients what works for me. So I tried energy work for myself. I was like, this works. So I brought it to my clients found it really helped them make progress faster in areas where they've been stuck. And I've been on the energy bandwagon ever since creating new and more progressive and more helpful energies for 20 years. Yes, yes, yeah. I love this because, um, you know, I'm really passionate about energy alignment and um, as well, like there is just the mysterious stuff, so to speak, that gets in the way when it's not the logical, like we all right. can come up with, right. you know, I always say that I can write a prescription. Here's three marketing things. Call me in the morning and I won't have done it, you know? Right. Exactly. I, so why not? What's there? Right. 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 And I know you've taken the energy healing even further. And um, so tell us where you are today with the energy, because you do some things that are really different. And um, I know many of our viewers have probably experienced energy healing in different ways, but I really think Stacy is, is a pioneer in some of the ways that she is bringing energy healing um, where people don't even have to be present. And so if you want to share a little bit about that, and then I know you also want to share a free experience of that. The universe is saying, yes, that is a great <laughs> We have the bells going off. <laughs> You're being called. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Are you going to answer the call, Stacy. <laughs> no. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to answer this call. How's that? Yeah. Not that call. Um. So funny. Well, the best thing I can do first of all is let you understand and sample that I can send you who are listening today, whether you're listening live or listening to the recording and watching later, energy to open you up to what else is possible without lifting a finger. I love that. And <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't have to go like this. I don't, I don't need to do that. The story of how I learned that I didn't have to do that is a good one too. We probably don't have time for today, but um, my energy has been distance healing for years and years and years. And I found that it's just as effective as many as being in person and receiving. Um, you just don't, I send to people all over the world. Yeah. So well, I think you're if, such a great example of when you are really connected and aligned, you know, to right. possible in the universe of, you know, healing and just ways that maybe we haven't traditionally imagined. So I would love, I know one of the things you had told me that you'd like to offer is um, for anyone who's watching, you know, watching and who is here or listening um, this experience. Sure. So I'll go ahead. And if you would like to receive energy healing from from me, it is done via the divine. 
so it is pure there's i am not in the way of it it has nothing to do with what i want for you the way i work it is i totally get out of the way and the divine source the creator god however you refer to it whatever works for you sends it to you for what is in your highest and best mm -hmm. to open you up to what else is possible to you that is in your highest and best not what i want for you what really what you want for you and so i'm sending those energies now if you want to receive all you need to do is nothing you don't need to do anything you don't need to put your hands in receiving position we used to do that but you don't have to you will receive as long as you want to if you don't want to you can just say silently no and and you won't receive source won't send it to you and that's all there really is to do is relax to know that it won't cause any side effects it doesn't cause detox it won't conflict with any other work if you're doing other energy healing work it won't conflict with it it won't over process you it's super gentle and super effective and that's how i created it to be because i learned over the years my own concerns other people's concerns so i created it so that really can work for you and you can just go about your day and not have to worry about oh my gosh i need to take time and be quiet because i'm receiving healing and you don't it is so gentle it works in the background you likely won't feel a thing you might feel energy moving if you don't it doesn't matter it's still working mm -hmm. that takes a lot of trust right a lot of trust well to know that you're receiving it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you know that's a good point and i've been doing it for so long that it's just like second nature to me so i appreciate your comments like that and I would say, yeah, it does take trust. So how would you know that you're receiving? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just telling you that and I could be all full of crap, right? I could be. I'm not. <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting, right? Because you're right. having to think about um, energy healers or healing. You're like, you know, it's almost like we want, I don't want to say the showmanship, but there is a way of like, but you got to put your hands or I have to receive or I have to feel something or uh, right. detox to know that it was happening or right. something like that. And so um, when you're talking about really connecting and bringing through these healing energies that are pure from the divine, it's like, we can we allow it to be that easy, you know? Yeah, and don't you, I love that conversation because it's such a pattern for most of us is things need to be hard, right? Mm -hmm. Things need to be difficult, we need to, so I hate to say suffer, but that's there for some of us in different ways, not consciously. Yeah. So how do you know if it's that easy that it's really doing anything? And so here's ways you can tell it's working. It's, it's subtle. If you're just sitting there, some of you will actually feel it, will feel energy moving through you. Some won't. And I found that it just varies with people as to whether they feel it or not. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean it's not working if you don't feel it. But what will happen, what's a sign that you've received? You'll notice things, it may be any of these things, like you may notice you're more relaxed. You may notice your mood is better, you're happier for just because you are. You feel lighter. You might notice, oh, I had an insight about something. Oh, look at that. Inspired just had a real action, right? Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, you may find that you're taking action in ways that, wow, I just did that. And it will be so natural that it's not like, oh, I need to make myself go try to do X. It'll just be you're naturally finding yourself doing something that you didn't do before, or you're doing it in a different way or you've shifted the way you're thinking about something like, oh, I'm more relaxed about that. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Oh, look what I just did. It's kind of, that's the kinds of things you notice that are signs you've had a shift from the energy work. It was just a few I examples. Love, I love that. I love that. Cause it is so, um, 
ingrained or you know into us that we have to struggle and we have to strive and that you know having a whatever business success looks like for you but whatever that success is you know um that it has to be a struggle right and it has to be hard even though we say no i want a joyful business you know i want it to be easy and authentic and creative and even fun we often say yeah but can i really have that you know so i think it's the same thing with our energy healing and with just being able to totally exactly. align with that and a really deep level so i love this right. conversation yeah this is great um so I'm curious, like, I imagine that you do a lot for, um, I talk a lot about your personal energy system um, around your paying attention to your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual energy, even your environmental energy, and that those things matter. And I'm curious what kinds of things that you do um, to help you, um, I imagine both for your business, but also to be a, a clear conduit for this work that you do. Well, that's a big question. <laughs> so let's see. Um, there's many things I do. And to be a clear conduit, I have created, because I wasn't always a clear conduit, and I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. um, and this is frequent that we, we think certain things are the way they seem to be are not really so. And I learned this over time through my intentions. I had strong intentions to be accurate, to only help and do no harm, and to help in ways beyond which I could ever possibly imagine. Those are my intentions. And so I live into those as pr pretty easily often because I've created methods to number one, I created what's called attunements and these attunements have my higher self be directly connected to source such that my ego does not get in the way and this is really really important it's easy for our egos to get in the way and not realize it mm -hmm. we don't mean to get in the way we don't want to get in the way but Looking often we just think you. we we just think we know right and um there are many things we don't know and we don't know what we don't know and so i created attunements and this is how i train people who want to be healers and medical intuitives anyway also is with attunements that have you have a high level connection to source and that gets your ego out of the way so that you're a pure channel my energy is always sent through source, not through me. Energy is always sent through source anyway, but I really get out of the way in terms of, I don't go like, well, I want to help so-and-so because I think they have a problem with X. Like that's me being in the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rather I give it to source for what's in their highest and best is how I really get out of the way. Right. Um, for myself, I've devised ways to up level my connection to source 24 seven. So I'm constantly clearing and clearing and clearing without feeling it. It's really subtle. Um, this is also what has me create real able to create really unique um, energy healing programs and energy healing that's more advanced than any that I believe that's on the planet at this right. point. Right. Yeah. So speaking of that, tell me, I'm just curious about the, oh, I'm curious about all of them. I wish we had <laughs> multi times to talk, uh, but I'm curious about the one, um, and I know you've told me a little bit about it, but I want you to share with your, with the audience, this idea of the uh, clothing energy healing. Um, okay, sure. Tell me about that. So the energetic clothing healing, and it's a program that I've created, the way it works is source infuses the clothing you're wearing with special energies I've created. And what happens, we have found with most people is you're comfortable in your clothes, typically, hopefully, right? Sometimes we're not. Mm -hmm. But what happens is the we open up 
to the energies in the clothing, like our body senses it. Un we're unconscious about it, but our body senses there's something good for us in the, our clothing and our cells open to it faster than traditional distance healing methods. And so the way it works is whatever you put on that day, source infuses it with energies that are perfect for you throughout the day. Mm. Because what's good, for, what you need at nine, well, that's great, but right. at noon, maybe my energy's low. Maybe I'm challenged with something. Source Maybe you're getting a Zoom presentation or interview. <laughs> exactly. It, energy. Exactly. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so source infuses it for what you need in that moment without you noticing anything's being done. It's all kind of like behind the scenes, you might say. Um, and we also found that clothing that kind of hugs your skin works even better. Mm. Um, it goes in faster and deeper to help you more again without you feeling it. And um, interesting. This brings so, up a whole nother level because I've always been fascinated by clothing and I've uh -huh. worked with a lot of image consultants on, um, especially ones that they, they do a certain program that is about intentional energy and um, how to really be aligned with the types of clothing that you're wearing. And so this takes it to me, this takes it to a whole new level. It does for sure. You know, a it whole does new for level. sure. I mean, I just think it's fascinating. And, and I know that that's one that sounds, um, I think one of the more creative fun things that you do that's really interesting and uh, could be helpful to a lot of entrepreneurs. Um, and then I know you do deeper healings. I know we don't have time to go into all your different programs, but it's, um, you know, that you have some really deep, you know, health uh, healing programs and things like that. And so I just want to mention that here because I think that's something that um, our viewers, you know, might be interested in checking out. And um, so I'd love to, um, I want to circle back around. We only have a few more minutes. I want to make sure that we share your contact information. But before we do, I would love to hear um, because you're not a typical healer, you know, there, there is, you know, we hear about the starving artist. Well, there's also kind of the starving healer, <laughs> I think in our industry. Uh, thank you for bringing that up for sure. Yeah. yeah. And that it really, and I know at first, whenever somebody would call me a healer, you know, my own variation of that, I would be like, no, 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 I'm not going to go. Right. Know, right. Healer, right. You know, sure. Kind of thing. And so, um, and I do think that healing is being, bring, is being sought alternative healings being sought and brought being bring, I can't speak, <laughs> brought to the forefront. Um, and so I know that you are different in that you are a, a multi-millionaire as far as you have created a really successful business around healing. And I was wondering if you could just give one piece of advice. I know you have programs around this and, and things like that, but if there's one thing that you could share with the entrepreneurs who are listening, um, what could you share about um, the the work that they're doing? They, the, cause they're doing their soul work, you know, whether it's healing or transformation, they're doing their soul work in the world. And where's one place you'd point them or a piece of information you want to give them? There's many, but here's, here's the one that, that I, I landed on to share. Um, and that is get as clear as you can about what people need that you can help them with and then create something that is uniquely yours and that is progressive that you can really claim as I am the one who does this mm -hmm. and it can help you beyond which other things can because so it's really about what do they need? What does your customer really need how, that you can help with? You can help them. That's the, the that, sweet spot I talk about where the right, that you can help them. them with and then it's not just about doing what other people do. That's not going to get you where you want to go. If you want to really 
be affluent, be really successful, have lots of raving fans, then it's not about doing what everybody else does. It's about creating your own unique way of doing it that's extremely effective. Mm -hmm. And that is really what has made a huge difference for me, among other things. But I think that's really important. Yeah, I love that. I love that because it's um, so often, you know, I know a lot of entrepreneurs get caught in, but I need to be like everybody else, but yet I'm different. And then I'm, they want to be different, but then they're scared to be different, you know, and it, t it takes a lot of courage to really find that thing. It that does take courage. Differentiate yourself. Yeah. And to really step into that um, in a big way. So but I want to say, even though it takes courage, it's fun. It's fun. exciting. Fun. It's right. exhilarating. Right. It's what keeps me going. Creating things that are uniquely mine that I didn't know I could do. It really is what keeps me going. So I want you guys to hear that too. Yes. Yeah. I, I agree because it, to me, that's the, that's where the creativity piece comes in, you know, for sure. Creative expression. And that is what makes it exciting to get up in the morning. Exactly. Yeah, it's kind of scary because you're maybe being a pioneer and a visionary, but yet, oh my gosh, you wouldn't have it any other way. Right. As you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, for yeah. sure. We're both like that. Yeah. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I know we just got like, I feel like we just like got a taste of <laughs> your amazingness and your brilliance, but I Thanks. really appreciate it. And, um, where can people go to find out more about you? And I know you also have a free gift they can sign up for. Would you like to tell us about that and where they can get that? Absolutely. So to find out more, you can go to my website, which is solutions, plural, by Stacy, S-T-A-C-E-Y dot com, solutionsbystacy.com. And I do have a free gift that I think you will love. It is free clearing audios. And one of those free clearing audios, there's two of them, and one of them up levels your business genius. It's only 10 minutes long. And um, you do have a business genius, whether you know it or not. And this will help open it up and bring your business genius naturally to new levels. And to get that, just go to my website and look under free stuff. That's the easiest way to tell you. You go to solutionsbystacy.com and under free stuff, I believe it's the first free item there. And um, it will help you in a lot of other ways related to your business as well. Love that. Love that. Great. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. And thank you for being here today. And um, it's so much fun to have this conversation. And I feel like we could just keep on talking for another hour. I know um, we could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, I hope you'll go if you're watching uh, or listening. I hope you will go and check out uh, Stacy's amazing information and really pay attention to if you you know watched this program and you said yes to receiving her free gift as far as the energy healing, you know really notice what's going on for you. And if you do feel different, I would imagine you feel different just watching this program because most people leave feeling more inspired um, already. Right, for but sure, it's like a whole new level of um, something else. If, and again, lots of times it can be subtle. It might be that you don't feel different, but yet you're all of a sudden taking action and, and things are coming to you in a different way. So pay attention to that. Um, also, if you would like more information about um, the community around Joyful Business, you can go to Facebook and look under, uh, find our Facebook group. So you can just search for uh, Joyful Business Community. And we have um, over 700 Joyful Business entrepreneurs who are doing conscious, creative, passion projects all around, all around the world. You can join us in the conversation there. And you can also go over to my brand new website at joyfulbusiness.com. Woohoo! Woo it's been a labor of love <laughs> and coming. So, and I do have a free gift over there for you right on the homepage. It's um, all about how to activate your abundance and some really great tools for that. And so um, go check out Stacy's free gift, my free gift, and man, you're going to be set for some good stuff. And um, we hope to see you in the future. I hope that you make it back to some other uh, joyful business episodes and um, look forward to seeing you next week. Right. Thank you for watching this episode of Joyful Business TV. I want to invite you to get more creative strategies and support for growing your business. You can start right now by activating your abundance mindset. 
with a really powerful creative visualization that will help you get into the universal abundance current, one of my favorite things to do. And you'll also get a companion seven day journal that will help you create a daily habit of co-creating with the universe. These are two powerful resources that you can get started right now to help grow your business and activate that, that abundant mindset. You just go over to activateabundancegift.com.